And welcome back. So we do have mainly cloudy skies out there right now. Still windy. Temperatures staying into the lower 20s. Let's take a look at the snowfall totals from around the region. This is uh, for all the snow that fell from Tuesday through Wednesday morning. And the uh, portion of our viewing area that got the most snow is Valentine. The official reported 11.8 inches of snow. But some areas uh, in rural Cherry County, just off to the west of Valentine, 15 to maybe even 20 inches in some areas. Mullen at 7.5, Springview at 6, Arthur at 5.5. So most of the snow uh, is falling into the sand hills north of I-80. As for North Platte, 2.2 inches, and Broken Bow and Imperial, both at 2 inches. Uh, here's a look at the current temperatures across the region. So uh, we are at 26 degrees in North Platte, 27 Lexington, and 24 out toward Broken Bow, near 20 out toward Thedford, Valentine, Ogallala, and Imperial. Really cool air for this time of year. The winds are still from a northwesterly direction. Wind speed sustained around 15 to 30 miles per hour, continuing to pump in that cool air and keeping us uh, mainly dry across the region. Highest wind gusts are in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range, mainly in the central and the eastern portion of our viewing area. This is the good news. Uh, we're not seeing a lot of blowing snow on this map. Visibility out toward Ogallala at 10 miles. Same thing for North Platte and points off to the south and east. A little less visibility as you make your way from Thedford up toward Valentine where they got more of that snow. And with it this cold and the winds whipping this much, we do have wind chill values in most places right now between 5 and 10 degrees. So prepare for that if you are spending any time outside. So even though we don't have um, blowing snow, still officially we have that blizzard warning in effect all the way until 6 a.m. Central Time tomorrow for our western and northern counties and a winter weather advisory in effect from North Platte out toward Custer County and points off to the south also until 6 a.m. Five Mountain tomorrow. So here's a look at the Doppler radar. Mainly cloudy skies along the I-80 corridor. Maybe a few peaks of clear skies off to the south, though. And just a few passing snow showers uh, just off to the south of Valentine. Could still get some uh, snow shower activity. Don't expect much accumulation as we go through the next 24 hours or so. The main low has moved well off to our north. So north and South Dakota over the next uh, day or so could still pick up some light snow amounts from this system. We still have our severe weather on the warm side uh, of the system uh, now continuing to move across the deep south. This low moves off to the east. High pressure is strengthening. We still have that strong northwesterly wind continuing to pump in the cool air. So as we make our way through the night tonight, mostly cloudy skies, windy conditions, lows are going to be into the upper teens. And then as we go through the day tomorrow, we'll get right back up there into the upper 20s. Still a lot of cloud cover and strong northwesterly winds. And still a little breezy to windy, but some of us could be partly cloudy for the day on Friday. Temperatures still within a few degrees of 30, so we're well below average for this time of year. So this low pressure system works its way out. High pressure is working in, but we still can't get rid of the clouds and the wind and the cool air over the next few days. Saturday, high of 31. Lots of sunshine, though, near 30. Sunday, mostly sunny. And then we're right back down to 20. Cooler air filters in Monday, uh, upper 20s Tuesday. And our next chance of some light snow showers is Wednesday with partly cloudy skies and a high of 24. But we are dry until then. Kent? Temperatures, boy, really, really chilly here for the next uh, week or so. Yeah, cooler than we've expected. We've been pretty warm recently. Okay, thanks so much, Justin. Filling the dinner.